Observatory is a place where there are large telescopes to see and study space. They're usually in high places and where there's little light pollution. Some observatories can be visited, and they even let you look through their telescopes. If you have one nearby, you can suggest a visit to your parents or your teachers. A telescope is a device that allows you to see very distant space objects, such as the moon or other planets. They're very powerful ones. It's hard to have one at home, but you can ask at school if they have one. To observe the planets and the stars, you don't need anything special. At first sight, you can see many constellations and some planets. With binoculars, you get to see the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. You can also observe the Moon very well. But be careful, it's very important that you never look at the Sun with binoculars. You could burn your eyes! Did you know that not everyone sees the same stars in the sky? You can see some stars in the Northern Hemisphere, and you can see others in the Southern Hemisphere. So there are boys and girls who, when they look at the sky, do not see the same stars as you. Shooting stars are not really stars. They're meteors that cross through the atmosphere of the Earth. Those meteors heat up a lot when they cross through the atmosphere until they almost become fireballs. The solar system is part of the Milky Way, a giant galaxy that contains billions of stars. Scientists believe that there's a black hole in the middle that absorbs everything that passes too close. It is possible to see the Milky Way stretching across the sky at night like a cloudy, luminous strip. The constellations are groups of stars that form an imaginary drawing. There are 88 constellations, and most of them were imagined by the Greeks more than 2,000 years ago. The Moon is the only natural satellite of planet Earth. Although it shines, the Moon does not produce any light. It only reflects the light of the Sun. Has anyone ever been to the Moon? Yes! So far, 12 people have gone there, but nobody has gone for years. The first person to walk on the Moon was Neil Armstrong in 1969. Would you like to go? It must be a fantastic experience. Drag each constellation according to where you can see it from the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. Remove the clouds to see the stars. Join the stars to form the Ursa Major constellation. Join the stars to form the Eagle constellation.
join the stars to form the Hydra constellation. Join the stars to form the Canis Major constellation. Join the stars to form the Taurus constellation. Identify the elements that are used to observe space.